There's a point of no return for these memories that gather together. Whatever it was is now no longer wanted. The first view is that grandiose whirlpool pulling you down to the event horizon. I've combined the vortex wall with the audio of the theremins, but a Victrola-like horn. So this has this nice experience of both sound coming towards you as audience member, but also being pulled back through the event horizon, in this case on both sides. You're just taken aback by what you see and then immediately want to know more, which I think is really the mark of a strong piece of art. So there's about 8,500 CDs. I find a CD to be a fabulous material to work with because it has the memory that all of us have had using it, playing it, craving it. A CD can hold not just a memory that we have of the CD, but it obviously has digital memory. Then it's a beautiful object, it's reflective, and then encapsulated in it is yourself, your past, your memory. Well, I think it really brings a new perspective into the gallery, how technology creates collateral damage with progress. So I think it's an interesting way to consider sustainability and the impact of technology on culture. Contemporary art, I think, is something that we all need. So I think one of the things that Women in the Work does, by being free, it opens up that possibility that someone, anyone, can come in and start to realize how vital art is for today how necessary it is to be able to look at creativity and look at how artists can be able to give a voice to what it is that we're experiencing in our society. Art can make a big impact on your life, on the way you think, and if you can just be open to it, it's really something that can add a lot to your perception and to your life.